Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo Technical Developer. In the previous video, we have talked about how to add many to one field in Odoo model and also on the view. And also, we have discussed what is the purpose of uh, many to one field. In this video, we are going to talk about how to add one to many field in Odoo models and also how we can add uh, inside the view from you. So, a, a virtual relationship, a one to many field is a virtual relationship. It is the inverse of uh, many to one. Uh, a, a one to many behave as a container of record. For uh, this means that a many a one to many field contains uh, can have multiple records or it can be empty. It can have a single record. Uh, accessing its result in a possible empty it can be empty and uh, it can have a set of records so in order to access each record you will have to use a uh, for loop uh, through the one to many field so here is a note uh, uh, which you need to keep in mind be uh, because a one to many is a virtual relationship so it is not an actual relationship like one to many so there must be a uh, many to one field in the other model for example uh, you have a uh, one to many field and uh, here you need to define the model and here you need to add the related field uh, which should be defined in uh, in the other model and the type of the field should be uh, many to one and it must be related to one to many field the value of such a field is the record set of all the records in the co model so the value of uh, one to many field can have uh, multiple records and it can also have uh, a single record and it can also have it can be empty also such that the field inverse name is equal to the current model if we inverse the record then it uh, will return the current record uh, like it will be a many to one field so the inverse of one to many is many to one field so what are the parameters of this type of field co model is the name of the target model inverse name the name of the inverse many to one field in the co model we have we must define the inverse in field in the co model domain and optional uh, domain to set on uh, candidate values on the client side domain or stream so we can add a domain to filter out certain values context and optional uh, context to use on the client side when handling that field so we can add some context like some default values for it uh, auto join uh, whether uh, joins are uh, generated upon search through that field by default it is false and the last one uh, parameter is limit so we can uh, use a limit for example if you want to show some limited records by default it is uh, it will show 80 records so uh, the attribute co model and worse name are mandatory except in the case of related fields or field extensions so we must uh, need to add co model and inverse name these both are uh, mandatory fields so let us just add uh, these this field in uh, our module so what we are going to do inverse one to many relation use the inverse relation field one to many so what we uh, have to do modify the model to reflect the relation between courses and sessions as we know that uh, courses can contain multiple sessions so we uh, need to define um, a relation here uh, from the course model to the session model is uh, one to many and from the session model it will be a many to one field so what we will add we will add session ids is equal to one to many so we let me just copy it from here uh, it from here and then go here and then paste in the course model here so let me just add the correction 
and proper identification so session ids is equal to field start one to many here we need to add the co-model co-model is the open academy dot sessions we want to add the relation with this model and then the um, course id course id is the inverse uh, field name which is we have defined it here course id and the course id field is many to one which is uh, whose relation is with the open academy dot course and here we need to define the string string is not a mandatory these both fields are uh, mandatory so let me just uh, add this field on the view side what we uh, can do here we want to add it for example let me show you here so let me show you here this is the sale order form you <coughs> so if we uh, uh, click on the create button we can see uh, these order lines so this order lines is uh, um, one to many relationship and if we can add uh, multiple uh, order lines against a single sale order so this way we uh, we want to add the same view here on the course um, so let me just uh, add it here uh, after the uh, we, are, we want to add it let me add it after uh, this one we will add notebook and then page field name equal to session ids uh, we need to copy it from here session ids that we have added here and then close it then tree first of all we have to add the tree view inside the tree view we need to define the fields uh, uh, that we have in the opposite model for example a uh, name field name equal to name and then the second field is start date so we can add we can define multiple field here and then we can add duration and then we can hit seeds and after that we can hit instructor ID so these are enough we don't want to hit the other field and just let me restart the server and then upgrade this module open academy so go to apps search for open academy module and then click the upgrade button to upgrade the module so after the module upgrade we will be able to see the change here and here we will uh, be able to see a new page uh, and in and under the new page you will be able to see the one to many relationship so that is it so as we already have uh one session for this course so it uh, all the information are available here so if i click edit button i can see the add line same like uh, in the case of sale order so let me just uh, click here so the form you open up and here i can select uh everything so but what i want to do i want to just uh uh, remove this uh functionality like open up the form view i just want to add it through the uh, tree view so what i will do i will add it here tree uh editable bottom and here i will add a string mm, sorry i will add string here sessions and then upgrade the module again so to see the change uh, that we have made in the xml uh, we must have to upgrade the module so let me upgrade the module and then refresh the tab and we will be able to see the change um, that we have added so let me so you can see it here sessions 
and if i click here edit button and click add new line so i can see uh for example uh photo discussion uh live session and it uh, will be at uh first of uh september and it can be for three hours uh, so duration can be so it is two times so let me just uh remove it and make it one time and after the multiple upgrade it will be on the ones so three and then number of seats are 200 so this is it and let me just save it uh there's no instruction edit so you can see it like that so if i open up the sessions i can see another session has been added so the course is automatically selected because of uh, this thing and because that uh, uh, the universe has been added here thank you guys for watching this video please like this video and also subscribe our channel